Congratulations, you're born as a male drone bee. Don't be ridiculous, not this one, that one. Not exactly the action hero of the hive, but hey, don't let that get you down. Right now, you're just an ugly, pale little grub squirming in your honeycomb cell. Charming, isn't it? But don't worry, soon you'll transform into a sleek flying bachelor. For now though, all you have to do is lie back and let the worker bees feed you royal jelly. Life is sweet, literally. As you munch away, you might notice something. You're a little different from the other bees buzzing around. You're not like the hardworking worker bees who zip in and out of the hive all day, carrying pollen, making honey. Nope, you're part of a special club, the drones, a small, exclusive group of males with one very specific purpose. And unlike the workers, you don't have a stinger. You're a lover, not a fighter. Oh, and then there's the queen. She's the Beyonce of the hive. Her majesty lays all the eggs and basically rules the place. Every bee in the hive works tirelessly to keep her alive and thriving. The worker bees, they're her loyal army, cleaning, feeding, building, and even air conditioning the hive by flapping their wings. It's a finely tuned, pollen-powered society where every bee has a role. Worker bees are like the multitasking superheroes of the hive. Some are foragers, flying miles to collect nectar and pollen. Others are housekeepers, cleaning cells and refining honey. Then there are the nurse bees, caring for baby larvae, and guard bees stationed at the entrance to ward off intruders. If a hornet dares to attack, the guarding bees are ready to fight till the end to defend the colony. Talk about dedication. But how do they coordinate all this activity? Through a mix of pheromones and an iconic dance language? When a forager finds a great nectar source, she performs a waggle dance, wiggling her abdomen and vibrating in specific patterns to share the location. The angle of her dance tells other bees the direction relative to the sun, while the intensity reveals the distance. It's nature's GPS, and the hive itself? It's a marvel of engineering. Bees build honeycombs with hexagonal cells, a shape that's both space efficient and structurally strong. The hive stays at a perfect 95 degrees Fahrenheit thanks to their wing-flapping thermoregulation. Every detail is optimized for survival. Everyone has a role. Everyone sacrifices for the hive. Everyone! That is, except you. While the workers buzz around frantically, risking their tiny lives for the greater good, you've got one skill, chilling. You don't gather pollen, you don't guard the hive, and you definitely don't make honey. Your job is to grow big, strong, and irresistibly charming. The queen needs future drone babies, and you, my friend, are the seed donor in waiting. It's not glamorous, but it's your destiny. So you grow up. You shed that grubby, larval look and transform into a shiny, handsome adult drone. Now you're bigger than the workers with these huge eyes and a barrel-shaped body. You need those big eyes for spotting a queen during the big moment. But let's not jump ahead. For now, your days are delightfully simple. Eat, nap, repeat. The workers feed you, clean up after you, and basically let you freeload. You might feel a little guilty, but not enough to stop. Then one day it happens. You feel it, the call. It's time to leave the hive and fulfill your life's mission. You and the other drones take to the skies, heading to a drone congregation area. Basically, it's a speed dating event in the air. Hundreds of drones all buzzing around, waiting for a queen to show up. And then there she is, the queen. Now, this isn't just any queen. She's on her maiden flight, and she's looking for the fittest, fastest drones to mate with. The chase begins. It's like a high-speed race with all the drones vying for her attention. You're flying as fast as your little wings can carry you, dodging and weaving through the competition. And then she chooses you. You've won. You mate with her in midair. And for a brief, glorious moment, you've achieved everything you were born to do. You're the hero of the hive. But here's the catch. That glorious moment, it's also your last. See, when you mate with the queen, you leave behind more than your DNA. Let's just say your equipment gets stuck and it's game over for you. You fall to the ground, lifeless, your mission complete. But let's rewind for a second. What if you don't get chosen? What if you spend your whole life flying to congregation areas, waiting for a queen who never picks you? Well, you return to the hive, defeated. And here's the harsh truth. Once summer ends, you're officially useless. The workers don't need drones anymore, and you're just another mouth to feed. So what do they do? They evict you. That's right, the, the same bees that fed you, groomed you, and kept you cozy now drag you out of the hive and dump you outside. No food, no shelter. Just the cold, cruel world. You wander around aimlessly until hunger or frost finally takes you. It's a sad ending, isn't it? Whether you mate or not, your time as a drone is painfully short. But here's the silver lining, your children. Yes, you heard that right. Those eggs the queen laid after your heroic flight, they're your legacy. Some will grow up to be workers, keeping the hive running smoothly. And a few will be just like you, lazy, carefree drones, born to live mate and die in service of the hive's future. So, was it worth it? You'll never know. But one thing's for sure, in the grand story of the hive, you played your part. 
And that, dear drone, is the bittersweet beauty of life as a honeybee.